Finally, the big day has come. Today, we're unboxing my new iPod video, which has finally arrived uh, after a month. Uh, although it was priority mail and it was supposed to be here in like 10 days, but yeah, um, thanks USPS. I bought this from Elite Obsolete Electronics. Uh, he makes cool iPods and if you want to uh, check his website out, I'm gonna leave a, a link in the description. Uh, he makes cool iPods, custom iPods, and trust me, it's worth it. So, uh, let's unbox the iPod out of from uh, the uh, USPS uh, package, because I don't want to see this thing anymore. Or to remind me of how this basically my iPod, how my package basically sat in Chicago for two weeks without any update. I don't want to remember that anymore. So let's unbox this. Uh, what do we have here? Ah, yeah, useless papers. Ah. Cool, more useless paper. Mm. Okay. Yeah, only bubble bubble wrap. So here it is. Let's carefully unbox it. Mm. Wow. Even with the foils on, it looks gorgeous. And so you get the iPod, and you also get a 30-pin cable. To USB, a 30 pin to USB A cable, but uh, I'm not gonna use this one because I already have another one from my iPhone 4S, so it's okay. Okay, so let's uh, put the bubble wrap aside and this thing here. Now let's uh, take the foil off of the iPod. Wow. Look how gorgeous this thing looks. It's so satisfying. Wow. 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 Man, this thing looks gorgeous and especially blue because blue is my favorite color. So I made it all blue, so look how gorgeous it is. Uh, I'm curious in how much time the, the back plate will scratch though. Because <laughs> these things are very well known to scratch easily as hell. But don't be afraid, because that's why I have the iPod sock that I, review in a, I reviewed in a previous video. Yep, so it fits perfectly. So that's why I say don't worry. Let's get it out of the sock. Okay. Let's place it here. Of course, I'm gonna clean it later and all that stuff. Uh, so first, um, let's have a brief history of the iPod video. So the iPod video was launched in uh, October 12th, 2005. And uh, it was the first iPod that was able to play videos. The, I, the previous iPod, the iPod Photo, was only able to like sh uh, show uh, slideshows of, of your photos. Now you can play your own, your own videos synced from iTunes or movies. It was offered in a 30 gigabyte model for uh, 300 US dollars and the 60 gigabyte uh, model, which was offered for 400 US dollars. And uh, there was also a uh, special YouTube uh, iPod, which was black and had the signatures, the signatures on the backplate of all the, of all YouTube's uh, band members, which was very cool, I guess, if you're, and it's still very cool if you're a uh, YouTube fan. The YouTube Special Edition was uh, offered for uh, 350 US dollars for, and it came in uh, 32 gigabyte size. And the uh, fifth generation was later updated in September 12, 2006 
uh, which is uh, what the what iPod I have right here, and it's the known as the 5.5 Gen. And it had it was improved because it had a brighter screen and longer video playback time and music playback time. So it was better. It had a better battery life, in short. The 60 gigabyte model was replaced by an 80 gigabyte model, and the prices for uh, the 30 gigabyte model and the 80 gigabyte model were cut by 50 US dollars. So the 30 gigabyte model was now 250 US dollars, and the 80 gigabyte model was now 350 US dollars. Support for uh, iPod Clickwheel games was also introduced. And of course, uh, this iPod was the last iPod uh, to have a, a plastic faceplate. The 6th gen, which we, we know today is the iPod Classic, and the 7th gen uh, have the aluminium one. And another detail, this iPod was the last to have the, Vol the Volson DAC, uh, while the 6th gen and the 7th gen have the Cyrus Logic. Yeah, the Cyrus Logic. And many people regard this as the best sounding iPhone, iPod model and the easiest to mod because it has a plastic faceplate and not an aluminium one, which is easier to remove to access the internals to flash mod it or change the, replace the battery. It featured a 2.5 inches screen. So let's have a quick look. So here you have the uh, click wheel with the menu and uh, the play buttons, the play and pause button and previous track and next track buttons, uh, the center button, the screen. On the bottom you have the 30 pin connector. Uh, on top you have the headphone jack and the uh, lock switch. Uh, on this side you have nothing, on the sides you basically have nothing. And on the back you have the, iP the Apple logo and iPod and the serial numbers. Alright, now let's turn this thing on. So, let's... Okay, it turned on uh, right apart. So, let's set the language English, of course. So you see the menu. This is the menu of the iPod. We'll come back to this later. Now, um, I don't have any songs synced on the iPod. So uh, let's sing some songs with iTunes. So let me grab my uh, let me grab my laptop quick and uh, sync the iPod. Also, I forgot to mention the iPod is flash modded, so it doesn't have. A hard drive in it. It's how you can tell this. Well, it's much easier, and uh, it loads much faster, and you also can squeeze much better capacities out of you. Can even have an option to put one terabyte on this thing. So yeah, and uh, also you can put a bit a, a bigger battery in it. Uh, however, I didn't opt it for a bigger battery. I only have I have its normal battery and I have uh, a 128 SD card in it. That's what I opted for. Okay, so I grabbed my PC uh, right here, and uh, I'm gonna connect the iPod to iTunes. Yep. Yeah, so first we'll have to um, format it because uh, I don't know if you can see, but it says that it's fo it's formatted for a Mac and I need to format it for Windows because I don't have a, a MacBook or an iMac computer. So uh, yeah, let's format it for Windows. Okay. Um... Restore iPod. Restore, yes. And now it's gonna restore my iPod and install the iPod software version 1.3. So now the iPod is uh, is restoring. 
yep it appeared uh, so now it's gonna restore it yep so our boy is restoring you can see the apple logo yeah and now it's gonna connect to my computer let's wait for it to appear yeah welcome to your new ipod so it has restored and successfully connected with my computer get started yes um okay so first i'm gonna <coughs> edit its name uh, you can see that it has a weird name right there and or you can also see that it's uh, 128 gigabytes um, uh, let's uh, first let's edit its name <laughs> yes I'm gonna name it Dengpod in honor of Dengpods of course so yeah Dengpod it's gonna be its name so I'm gonna sing some music on it um, yeah 1630 songs and it's gonna take me like 11.54 gigabytes um, yeah I don't have quite a lot of music compared to other people like Dengpods which have thousands of I don't know they have terabytes of music but still um, it's quite a lot for me that's why I bought the iPod because I don't want to keep all that music on my iPhone and take space because I don't have that much space on my iPod on my iPhone, excuse me and I also want to listen to music without being distracted by notifications and phone calls on my phone so yeah, let's hit sync music and apply and now it's gonna sync my music and uh, yeah, I'm gonna Come back to when it's synced because it's gonna take quite a, quite some time. All right, so the sync process has been completed, and we can eject the iPod. And now let's have fun with it. Right, so. Um, Let's set it up again, English. So you here um, you have music, playlist, all that stuff. Photos. I don't have any, however. Videos, video plays, movies. I don't have any movie. But yeah, you can add movies, settings, blah, 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 audiobooks, uh, shuffle songs, and extras. You have clock. Let's add a clock for Europe. Let's see. Uh, Munich. Hmm. Bucharest, yes, Bucharest. Contacts, you can of course add contacts. Calendar, you can even have an alarm. Notes, stopwatch or screen lock you can set a screen lock combination let's set an alarm because i'm curious about the alarm What's the time right now? I 
and yeah, it should. Let me uh, time. Yes, yes, yes. No, no. Yeah, so you can hear the alarm. So yeah, the iPod has a speaker, but only for the alarm. Yes, only the iPod Nano, as I showed you in the pre in a previous video, only the iPod Nano 5th gen has an internal speaker that can also play music. Let's see the games now. So for games, you also have games on this iPod. On this iPod, you have Brick, Music Quiz, Parachute and Solitaire. Let's play Brick first. Ah. Woohoo! So yeah, it's Brick. Although, um, I'm not a very good player, to be honest. As you can see, <laughs> I'm not very good. Also, um, the click wheel interface is kind of hard to play on. But uh, yeah, it's fun if you have, like, not to get bored, brick is good. If you are, for example, on public transport and stuff like that, and you don't want to get bored or on an airplane, you can easily play at brick. You need some practice. Some practice first. You have music quiz, which is a very fun game. You basically have to like guess what song is playing or stuff like that. Uh, I don't. I didn't play it. And of course, I'm not gonna play it here because I don't want to get copyrighted on YouTube. But from what I heard, it's a very fun game. Parachute, which again is a very fun game to play. And again, I don't seem to uh, be very good at. So yeah, you basically have to destroy the helicopters or the or the man, the people with the parachutes. You basically have to kill them. From what I understand, yeah, it's a very fun game. Of course, I need practice because I didn't play a lot of games on the click wheel interface. And you have solitaire again, a game which is. I knew from the Windows computers, but again, I, I, I didn't understand the game. So yeah, you have some games if you want to play, and as I told in the iPod Nano 5th gen video, there was were also more the option to buy more games, however, Apple has uh, shut it down, that option, so only if you find, I think only if you manage to find the game, the games cracked on the internet. I knew that you can find them on Pirate Bay, but now I don't know. If you know where I can find the games, the crack games for the iPod, please let me know in the comments. Games, I saw that were like games like Zuma and all that stuff. And if you know where I can find them right now in 2021, please, please let me know. Let's play Scarlet Fire to test the sound quality. I'm gonna plug in my headphones. And let's play Scarlet Fire. So yeah, it sounds pretty good. Okay, so now let's test. You can also, of course, connect 
your iPod to the speaker, a speaker. So of course, let's connect the iPod to my JBL Go 2 then. I have, you'll, you'll need an aux cable, of course. The two 3.5 millimeter headphone plugs. Um, let's connect it first to our headphones, to our uh, speaker. Line in. And now let's connect it to my iPod. Yep. <laughs> So this was my unboxing and review of the iPod Classic or the iPod Video 5.5 Gen and uh, yeah, if you like the video please consider uh, leaving a like of course and subscribing and hitting the bell button to receive notifications and I'll see you guys next time, peace!